Hey everyone, today I've got the new Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Indoraptor. This is the coolest new dinosaur design I have seen in a long time. Ever since the, the first Velociraptors that they kind of specially designed for the movie. Because, you know, they're not, they don't look like how they look in real life. They're different size and all that. So this is like a giant black uh, Velociraptor with like more spines and teeth and... It's like the original raptor, but way cooler. I guess it's part uh, Indominus Rex, maybe, and, and part raptor. But the Indominus Rex had raptor in it, so it's like extra raptor. Super extra raptor. All right, so uh, Jurassic World logo. Movie authentic posability. Let's see. He can uh, go down on all fours like that. What does it say down here? Uh, JurassicWorld.com. Small parts. And let's see over here. Dinosaur, uh, one dinosaur included, and there is a, a variety of different things you can get in the toy line. Let's see, question, what is it? ServiceMattel.com. Okay, here we have a barcode, and let's see, here we have how to do the tail, assembly required. Alright, on this side we have uh, some uh, metal things and some trees. And I like the way this is packaged. Uh, you can feel how nice the plastic is and you can kind of pose it a little bit in the package. It's got uh, rubber band type things holding it in. And usually I would uh, cut the tape and take the box apart to get it out, but it, even if I did that, it, he's still attached with rubber bands and the rubber bands are inside this plastic thing. So I'm just going to cut them with the, not that, with the scissors. So let's just start getting it open. Actually, I was wondering if I could just do like that. Yeah, you could just, uh, un oh, that one's, oh, this is one long rubber band. I guess this whole thing is just holding the, the feet, the, the arms in. Let's see, okay, these are a little bit different. These are like, not, a loop so I think those have to be cut those are kind of like what they attach clothes tags with let's see okay I might need this thing okay I'm going to be very careful not to cut the toy I'm just cutting like that and let's see there's one on the tail back there oh also there's this plastic collar thing right here. It's not stretchy. It's uh, I'm not sure what it is. That I need uh, some scissors. All right, so you can just slide the tail out and the foot. The foot had a rubber band on it too. I don't know why that just came loose. Okay now the only thing is how am I going to get this out? Uh, I'm just going to cut um, Let's see. How am I gonna do this? Uh, let me, uh, cut there. I guess I have to take the box apart. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm probably not gonna save the box after I, because once you, a lot of these, when you take them out of the boxes, it's really almost impossible to put them back in the way, the same way because I'm going to have to cut the plastic to get the tail out so it's not really like a mint condition box anymore. So I don't know why I go to the bother of I'm trying not to mess up the box. Alright, I think that is open. There we go. Super posable. There's inside the box. Here's a piece of the box. All right, let's put this together. Okay, we got a tail, a very long uh, peg type thing, and a, a weird extra tab. Okay, I'm not sure which way that goes. Maybe like that. Well, it seems to be stuck in there now, so I guess that's good. I don't know. All right, so here is a look at the Indoraptor 
with the tail on. Let's turn the hand like that. Very cool, very nice, sleek, black dinosaur. Very cool spikes all over the place. Lots of teeth. Nice red inside the mouth. Let's take a look at the face there. Got a red eye with a very tiny black pupil slit. Got some red scales near the red eye. Both sides are like that. Okay, we have this stripe going down the body. Looks to me like silver and gold. I know in a lot of the artwork for this dinosaur, uh, it's got like a yellow stripe, but this more, looks more like gold paint. And some of it's lighter, so it looks like they maybe went and put a silver stripe right here and then they went over it with a big gold stripe. I wonder if it looks more gold in the movie. All right the arm goes right through the stripe right there and the leg the back leg does too. The, st the stripe just kind of stops on the arms and legs. The spikes are very soft super soft and bendable and safe. The plastic is really nice. It's uh, it's kind of soft, but not too soft. It's not rubbery. It's just really soft, nice, good quality type of plastic. Let's see. It's harder right here. Like you can't really bend the arm where it's not supposed to bend. This part is like a harder plastic. That's that feels a little bit more rubbery right there. The whole leg is like the rubbery stuff. The claws are a little bit firmer than the, the ones on the hands. There is uh, some stuff right here. I noticed that a lot of the bigger dinosaurs have this thing right here. I'm not quite sure what you do with it. I don't know if you could scan it by looking at it on the video. I'm not even sure what you scan it with or what it does. I don't know if there's electronics in there or not. Um, let's see. There's no paints. Well, wait, is that paint? It's a different texture. Like, the top of the dinosaur is really shiny, and the bottom is flat. I don't know if that's paint or not. I can't really tell. But it's, there's a line that kind of separates it right about here. Let's see if you can see that. Like, the body is shiny, shiny, shiny on the top, and then it just kind of stops right here. This part is not shiny, and this part is. The whole tail is kind of shiny. Okay, and this part is pretty soft. Bendable. This part is the hard plastic. Alright, so let's check out how you can pose this thing. Let's see, the tail goes like that. And like that. This part of the tail goes like that. A little bit bendy. Um, it does not twist around because of that weird peg. This one twists a tiny little bit, but you can't make it go all the way around. The legs, the back legs can go all the way around if you needed them to. It's got knee joints, ball, there are ball joints. Um, they turn all the way around. We got another like an ankle joint right here. It's a ball joint. It goes, let's see, it goes about that far back, so straight to that much bent. And let's see, it doesn't really go side to side at all, but it does swivel all the way around. Both legs are the same. The arms are large, like a double ball, ball joint, like a, with a swivel. So it can go up and down, all the way around. We have, looks like the same type of joint right here on the elbow, all the way around. And another one right here. So the hand can go like that. And about like that. And all the way around. 
there is a lower neck large ball joint. You can put this part of the neck up about that high and it goes down about that much. It goes side to side about that much. And it also goes all the way around. It's got nice scales all the way down the back. There is an upper neck joint. This can go all the way around. It can go up about that much. And down about that much. So a little bit of movement. Uh, it can swivel a little bit. See, it's hard to show it. Kind of like the tail. And the mouth. You can kind of open it really wide. Like it feels almost like it's there's two joints in there, but it's probably just one. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's just one really large jaw movement, I think. You can see through it just a little bit when it's all the way open. But when you close it a little bit, it, you can't really see any anymore. But that doesn't matter really, I don't think, to me. It's still cool. Alright, this is super cool. Let me try to do that, uh, like a crawling pose. Okay, so you can do it like that. This is, I love this toy. I love the design of this animal. I love the colors. Um, I like that it's not just yellow like some of the artwork shows. I like how it's like metallic gold kind of. It's an awesome looking toy and it feels like really good quality and it's really nice to to bend and play with and pose and all that. Um, let's see. All right, let me let me try measuring it. Sometimes I don't forget to. I mean, I, I do forget to measure it, but uh, people are always asking me. Uh oh, people are always asking me like how long this is. So okay, so from the head to the tail is about. What is that? 16 inches? About. It depends on how you've got them posed or stretched out or whatever, but I don't know. Uh, and people are always asking me how tall they are. And that is like such a random question. I mean, I know people want to know the height or whatever, but it, it, change, it depends. I mean, like, do you want to know how high it is when it's like that? Or do you want to know how high it is like in a medium pose? Or like, I don't know. Does it... There's like a million different answers for that question. See here? Wait, I keep doing the ruler the wrong way. Here it's about nine inches tall. But, you know, if, if he's in a slightly more natural pose, then it's, it's obviously going to be shorter. So I never know what to, to uh, uh, answer when people ask me how tall it is. It's so about seven inches there, or you can go, how how low can you go? Put them down like that. And, you know, it's, it's like about five inches over here, or four and a half. It's about five inches over there. And it's about eight inches over here, so I don't, I don't know. So you just make up your own mind of which, which of those measurements you want. But I would say it's pretty safe to assume it's about 16 inches long. All right. And, uh, yeah. Well, it depends on, yeah, the, how, how you do the tail, but it's about 16 inches long. All right. So thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, yeah. Um, here, here's the, uh, thrash and throw T-Rex. I just wanted to compare it to this one so you can see the the size comparison because I, I think these are about the right scale the right scale with each other all right so thanks for watching 
check out my other videos and see you later. Bye.